Yeah, you know, Adam just gets some of the independence paper. He's signing today with Walter State. And first, Atticus, are you, are you just happy to get this over with and get it, get it out of the way? Uh, yeah, it's good to get it out of the way, knowing that like, I'm going to be going and playing college now for sure. I've, I've signed it, and uh, just exciting to do something like this. It's a dream that I've always wanted, and now I've been able to do it is a huge accomplishment. Um, you were the Kennedy Award winner, obviously, and, and everybody knows that now. Um, but baseball has always been your love. Tell people why you uh, selected Walter State. A uh, really good program. It's a JUCO, so if I if I do end up being good enough to go to the pros, I can go after the first year or after the second year. But if in those two years I don't get good enough to go to the pros, I can go to a college after and get even better at a different college. What uh, What are the things you want to work on this year to uh, get you ready to go to that level where you're playing um, elite JUCO type players, which are in most respects just as good as the D1 guys? Uh, just work on everything, faster, stronger, hitting, fielding, pitching, whatever I need to do to get better to be there. When you went to Walter State, what was it about? And your mom said when you went there, you just fell in love with the campus, the atmosphere, what it's like. I know that you like you like to keep things smaller, and uh, you pretty much told me you weren't really too interested in D1 anyway. Did it just fit everything you wanted? Uh, it fit everything that I wanted. Um, it was a small campus, so it's not spread all over a town. It, uh, it's got a really good family feel. Everybody there is really close. I got a bunch of the kids on my Snapchat, and they're always texting me, asking me what's up and stuff. So everybody's close, and uh, the coaches were amazing. And just the spot that it's in, it's not super far away from home, but it's far enough away that maybe I could just get away for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it's just a super nice campus and a nice place to be. Is it going to be nice to work on baseball all the time? I mean, your football career is pretty much over now, and uh, is it nice to just work on what you want to do year-round now? Uh, well, I actually started wrestling again. You are wrestling? I started wrestling again the other day. Um, and But I did a lot of work on baseball, and I still do get a lot of work in on baseball. So, uh, yeah, it feels good to be able to work on something that I know that I need to get better at. Uh, state championship, your goal in wrestling now? Uh, that's that's, a, that's the goal in any sport you do in high school, so you could say that that's my main goal. What uh, drew you back? I know you were kind of on the, uh, you were a little on the fence whether you would go back or not. Well, there was two things. One, I kind of just missed it. I missed the family feel and everything that it gives you as well. And another thing I, I kind of needed to get back was I went from 200 and like 18, 220 pounds to like 245 pounds, so I wanted to go back. I got back down to 230 yet as of yesterday. Were you 218 when you left Wheeling Island? I was 217 when I left Wheeling Island. They had a scale and I weighed right before I left. 28 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's professional weight gain right there. Yeah. <laughs> what do you? What are your goals for when you go to Wayne State or um, Walter, Walter State. State next year? Uh, just get as best as to be the best me that I can be and uh, just perform at a high level and hopefully get drafted. And. That, that is the ultimate goal. I mean, you want to do it the first year? Uh, if it could happen the first year, that'd be awesome. But if it doesn't, then keep on working. And this is a team that's also won like over 60 games a year mm -hmm. in the last three seasons that they've had. Obviously, COVID interrupted their team, but they won 60 games. What's it like going to be uh, being a part of that program? And do you think you'll uh, contribute immediately? Uh, I think that I will contribute immediately. I think that I'm going to come in and I'm going to work hard and I'm going to get myself a spot on the starting lineup. But uh, being a part of a winning program will just make you better because your confidence is already boosted because you're not losing a bunch of games. And everybody there pushes you to work hard, and I think that's why they have the record they have. Uh, goals, I know, is to get back to the state tournament this year. What about uh, your goals personally as you get ready to go into your college career? This year, uh, your final year of school. Win a state championship and get more selective during the games on pitching. Like whenever somebody's coming pitching at me, get more selective on what I swing at, what I let go. Because at a high level, you got, if you can't do that, you might as well just pack up and go home. And you said like 400 people uh, the school's put into the there's, there's about, there's probably like two, 300 people they put into the pros, I'd say. They, they're a huge program that feeds into the pros. So, and it's good and soon to be Walter State, but one more year in Independence Attic, I appreciate the time. Good luck this baseball season. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.